it's around town with Mandy. And as you can see, I'm not around town, but that's okay. I'm here in the studio with my first Zoom interview. And what more, I'm so excited to have a farm girl to Zoom with. This is so exciting. I'm here with Amy from the Maryland Food Bank. How are you, Amy? I'm doing great, Mandy. How are you? Great. So this is a first for both of us. Sure is. We'll learn together. We'll learn together. That's right. We're learning a lot of things through this, but we're here today to talk about the Maryland Food Bank. So tell us a little bit about the Maryland Food Bank. So the Maryland Food Bank is a nonprofit. We were founded in 1979, so we've been around for 40 years. Uh, we service the whole state with the exception of Prince George's and Montgomery County with headquarters in Baltimore and then branch in Salisbury and Hagerstown. So we work with about 1,250 distribution partners throughout the state uh, to distribute food to those in need. Wow, that's amazing. So as we were talking, there's a lot. I'm on the food bank mailing and you can sign up for emails and you glean all over the place and you'll get an email and they'll tell you where you're at, where you're located and what you're gleaning that day. Yeah, that's correct. My specific responsibility with the Maryland Food Bank is farm to food bank coordinator. So during the growing season, which typically starts in the middle of June or earlier when strawberries come on, if there's some around, um, my responsibility is to get produce from farmers all across the state to those three branches, Baltimore, Salisbury, and Hagerstown. So right now is the uh, dawn before that starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we have all of this going on on top of it. And with that going on and being said, um, we are at a crucial time and the food bank, um, they could use food. We can definitely use food. Under normal circumstances, one in nine Marylanders is food insecure, meaning they do not know where their next meal is gonna come from. You compound that with this COVID-19 virus and I, we don't even know what the numbers are right now. I mean, if you break the one in nine down at 665,000 individuals in Maryland who do not know where their next meal is coming from. And with the unemployment rates skyrocketing each day, uh, the Maryland Food Bank as a whole is having to kick out more and more food all the time. So we, we definitely need donations to help meet that. Uh, even more importantly, uh, the Maryland Food Bank is able to, to, to spread a dollar further than we are as individuals. Uh, so we can definitely use financial uh, support to be able to purchase food uh, to get out into the communities. Nice. And if someone was going to do that, how do they go about doing um, either making a donation of food or, like you said, monetary? Right now is a time of need. So monetarily, you can go to our website at mdfoodbank.org and click on Donate Now. That's the quickest, easiest thing you can do. Normally, we can take $1 and provide three meals. Um, and that money will go to Baltimore, Salisbury, and Hagerstown. If there's nice. somebody out there who's looking for food, uh, I've had a couple of people reach out to me personally on where they can find food. Uh, if they go to the mdfoodbank.org and click on the Find Food tab in the top right corner, they can type in their zip code and our list of partners will come up. So like there's a list of people that you work with to coordinate with the food bank to make sure that food is at these locations. Correct. And they all have different hours of operation and some unfortunately have closed for fear of safety. Yeah. So they this current website is supposed to be up to date with who's still currently open. Nice, nice. And they do have some information on the screen um, as to how people can get a hold of you, um, your phone number, as well as your email, um, if they are looking to help out. Uh, for volunteers, uh, this is Queen Anne County TV, so most of your, I don't know where your viewers are, but if you're looking to help out on the Eastern Shore, the phone number to Salisbury is 410-742-0050. And then in Baltimore, our main number is 410-737-8282. Perfect. Well, it was so nice to talk to you. I'm glad we were able to Zoom. This is a first Zoom, so this is big for me and you, definitely. We're branching out as farm girls. <laughs> That's right. And let me also put a plug in for the need definitely. for volunteers. Uh, with uh, us having to put out more food, we're doing back, back, back up boxes every day in Baltimore. You can go to our website, mdfoodbank.org slash volunteer and click on that to get, uh, find out when we need help as far as the Baltimore location. In Salisbury, if you'll call uh, the number I mentioned earlier and talk to Jennifer Small or Marvin Webb, Marvin does our volunteer coordination in the warehouse down there. And if you, if you can't travel those places, you know, look at our list of partners and see if they need help distributing food. Schools need help getting uh, food out to the kids. You've got all these kids in the state that don't have food yeah. right now because school's out. 
Uh, so the need is more than it's ever been in my 10 years with the food bank. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And if somebody, you know, if somebody's interested in helping me on the farm this summer, you know, shoot me an email, acauley at mdfoodbank.org. And you alluded to the emails I sent out earlier. I can put you on my email list and uh, put you in. I separate by county, put your email, name and email in that county. And when I'm in your area, I'll shoot you an email and let you know, and you let me know if you can help. And that's Perfect. usually from May to September, October uh in the mornings and in the evenings when typically people are off for work nice well thanks so much for everything that you do for the food bank we appreciate it definitely I love and it. thanks for zooming in this is i said this was a this is a big experience for both of us so definitely new and um hopefully the volunteers and you'll get some emails and hopefully some donations to help and assist with the food bank definitely i hope so mandy thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me and get the word out about our needs at the food bank we appreciate you